What? She's standing in the fucking fire? Um, ouch. Welcome to this. It's The Walking Dead, man. The new episode from Telltale, man. I'm, I've been so excited to play this and I haven't really had the time to do so, but... You know, I figure, let's get right into it. So... It's a miniseries, but apparently they have... Three episodes? Huh. Uh, I remember playing, you know, uh, the other miniseries that was uh, in between uh, uh, season one and two. I think that one had three episodes too, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. So let's get into this, see what it's all about. Okay. Okay, this given series of dubs choice you make. Yeah, we know. The, well... Let's find out. That's true. So many of them, I can hardly remember the name. Is that the same uh, actor? Oh no. Oh, so is that her kids or something? Shit. And that sword she's having, that's not the Cantana main. It's like a machete or something. They're not done with me. Hmm. <gasps> Door in the middle of the woods. Yeah, this is some Alice in the Wonderland shit. That's a katana, man. Oh, shit. Well, it's not good having flashbacks when you're, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> in the middle of the zombie ward. Whoa! Mm. Oh, nice. Wait, that was already through his head, so why? Oh, fuck logic. It's supposed to be cinematic. No. Um, really? How many fucking zombies are there? Yeah. 
Lena, she's badass as shit. Nope. Oh, blood galore. Yeah. Alegría Macarena, que tu cuerpo es para dar la alegría y cosa buena. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría Macarena, eh Macarena. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría Macarena. What? She's standing in the fucking fire? Um, ouch. Hey. Who's that? <sighs> we didn't have a choice. Russian roulette, here we go. Some days I envy the dead. Um What if we pulled the trigger? I mean it's Russian roulette, nothing's gonna happen. Oh oh shit. Bastard. <laughs> okay, so that was the introduction. I don't know, it was pretty cool with the flashbacks, but you know, I'm pretty excited. Let's get into this, see what it's all about. We finally get to see the backstory of Michonne, so that's pretty cool. In too deep. Ooh, too deep. Okay. Got a trophy, great. Oh, fuck. We're on a fucking boat? God damn it. Wow. David. Michonne. I didn't know each other. Your shift isn't for another hour. Couldn't sleep. Having those nightmares again. You holding up okay? Don't worry about it. Uh is to read. It's hard to tell how you Silence is always a um honestly I don't know. I honestly don't know. Please tell me if you know if it gets as bad as it did. I just need to keep busy. Oh, oh, Law, get down here. Michonne's taking your shift. Two minutes. Oh, for being glad. Crunk, eh? I like those guys to be in a contact with this long. We trade every time I come through. Same spot. Everything's just gone. It just doesn't make sense. Their boat is always anchored right on the top. Uh, maybe they moved on? They might have moved on. Left the area. Not without telling us. They would have left a message behind for something. They wouldn't hmm. just disappear. Maybe we can pass by again. 
again on our way back. Listen. Aliens. You hear it? You hear it, right? It sounds like a woman's voice. Vanessa, is that you? I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything here. She's there. I just gotta find the right frequency. Okay, good luck. Hey. Michonne? Uh, again with the shortwave? I'm not just giving up. This bay was full of boats just a year ago. They went somewhere. If they left, it was probably for good reason. Then I wanna know why. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, there. You heard it that time, right? Yeah. She said help. I don't know, Pete. Didn't sound like an answer. But it's somewhere. She might know what happened here. No, damn it. We're losing the signal. Look, if we don't start caring about the people that are out there, we're no better than the damn walkers. All we'll find out there is trouble. I mean it. What's the point in just surviving? We gotta do better than that. All right. So let's help her. Yeah, let's keep the hope up. You're the only Sometimes all you need is hope, man. Not Berto. Not Sadiq. Especially not fucking hope. You know there are people worth helping. Take over, please, okay? I'm gonna turn the boat around. Okay. Hey, we'll be the DJ. I think it's great that, you know, finally someone in this series uses a fucking boat. I mean, I like the idea in the first uh, season that we were gonna, you know, the main goal was to get a boat, but, you know, that never happened. Uh, I don't want to spoil it because, I mean, well, it's been like three plus years since that game so I think it's okay to spoil it right or yeah fuck it well the, the guy dies so there I did it yeah you, you know, have three plus three plus years to do to you know to see it but you know in the series you never see anyone with a boat no one's like oh I'm gonna go to land no the most optical thing optimal thing would be like an oil platform or something that would be prestige okay um a squeeze dial, radio, radio dial. You guys hear that? Bingo. Jesus? Uh, are you in danger? Anything? I heard her. Barely. Knew it. Oh, this is a bad idea, Pete. You want to find more people. You're forgetting what people are like. What is Whoa. Oh, bloody hell. Then did we hit a rock? Titanic? I can't see a damn thing. Virgo, hold the wheel steady. Take in those steps. Whoa. No, 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 no. Sadiq, get down. That's really bad. If you know anything about sailing, oh boy. Thanks for the save. Jesus. Oh, get the jib under control. But this is a sausage fish, I no other girls. Right into a fucking rock. Hey, I've been sailing these waters for years. There aren't any rocks here. Well, then what the hell was that? Something else. You said it yourself. Something's going on around here. This place isn't safe anymore, Pete. Your friends are gone, and whatever scared them off is gonna find us next. I told you this was a bad idea. You're just being paranoid. Uh, no one likes someone, you know, just. Just try to focus on the problem, man. Jesus. 
panicking about it won't make us any less stuck. That Preach, man. Short one. What if she's part of it? Guys, pull it together. Oh, Sadiq, get those sails tied down. Once we've checked for damage, we can haul off. Ease our way out. Go on. So, what exactly did she say? I don't, I don't remember anything. Sounded scared. Oh, maybe it's Clementine. She sounded young and no. scared. I doubt she's afraid. It said like, "Oh, thank Shut God" up. or something, and then. Blah, 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 blah. Figure out what we got stuck on. Just see if we're close to anything. I mean, I need to know what our options are. We just need to get ourselves moving. All right, so this is me walking dead. Cool, and we're on a boat. I'm on a boat. It looks like we have some interesting characters here that we're gonna talk to. I mean, I think it's I think it's really great that you know the Walking Dead that they're doing this with you know the characters. I would love to see you know Daryl in one of these games and. I don't know. So, um, Glenn too, because we saw him in the first season. That would be great. That would be really good. Because we don't know much about Glenn, what he did. I mean, he went. Well, in season one, he said we we're gonna go back into Georgia, right? And that's what we pick up from season one. What happened in between? I don't know. Maybe nothing. Talk to Pete. Damn, man. Cause I'm in the weed. Yeah, I know. Working. Well, if it's caught in the rudder, maybe someone should die down there. Let's use a binoculars. Uh, well. Absolutely nothing. Nice to see out there. Oh, yeah. It was early morning, right? Uh, let's talk to this guy, because he looked... Oh, we can't talk to him? No. He looks angry. Uh, let's help out with the sails. Gotta get those fixed, man. Hey, Michonne, we could use a hand here. Hey, we gotta bleed the wind out of this sail. Stand by what I said. Pete isn't cautious enough. He's just an optimist. You can call it what you like, but we shouldn't be trying to find people. We should be staying the hell away from them. Look where we are. Complaining I won't do you good, man. Damn wind. Uh, stop Grab complaining, it. bitch. You stop complaining of? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. If you and Pete didn't give me so damn much to complain about. <laughs> oh, you think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Thanks. So we can pick it up. Welcome to the sausage party. That's the sword, but there was something there. Okay, there it is here. Let's like, look at the shoreline. Maybe we can see something. Yes. Before I go there, I'm gonna go, um, Sam in the same tree. No wonder they broke. Yeah, it's, it's a really old ship, maybe from, you know, the museum or something. Need to find some food soon. Rice, mm. We should start producing fruit. It looks like an old ship, doesn't it? Like, um, I don't know if it's just a sailboat because if you have a sailboat this big, that's a lot of money. But it looks kind of like, you know, uh, you know, an old colony ship or something like that. 
So maybe someone was walking in the sea and then you know just whoa. Can we say something? There it is. Hey Pete. Figured out what we're stuck on. Damn. At least it's not Rashid's boat. Damn it, Joe. Hope no one's still on that boat. I don't want to die like that. Sorry. I just seen a lot of bad shit go down. I just. That's okay. I don't want to see this fall apart, you know? I've seen better places than this get torn to shreds. We all feel that way. I'm not the only one. <clears throat> I shouldn't let him see me slacking off like this. <laughs> but I don't know. We we don't know what happens here. But you know, we all have a little bit of clue. Let's look over the edge. So we run into a boat, a wreckage of a boat. Okay, enough of it. All right. Let's use the binoculars here and move on in the story. Oh. Um. There is a lot of stuff here. There, looky, looky, looky. You see anything out there? Looks like an old ferry. Could be worth checking out. You know, extra parts, maybe some food. Maybe. No, it's talking. <clears throat> Anything? Saw a ferry. Maroon near the shore. A ferry? Didn't see a ferry last time I was here. Tiller lever shot. Snapped in two. The what? Tiller lever. Connects the wheel to the Look, I don't know shit about boats. Just tell me what you need. It's not complicated. <laughs> Might have what we need instead. <clears throat> Best option we got. Okay, sounds Let's good to me. To that ferry. Okay. I don't want to be stuck here any longer than we have to be. Can't argue with that. Maybe we can find some sign of a sheep crew. Let's round up the crew. That's this being a bit hard to crew. See what we can find. All right. So we're Machete, yeah. For you. you wish. We've got work to do. You didn't answer my question, though. Here we go again. Guys, you three, catch the boat, pull her out of here, lay anchor near the shoreline. Got it. Don't go anywhere. Stay near the boat and keep her safe. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. She could she, uh, should have kept that machete, man. Don't let this turn into a rescue mission. Forget his friends, right? Let's get the parts and get back here. I can't promise that. Well, but you know what they say about good intentions. I can't make that promise. If someone's in trouble, I'm not going to just leave them. We can't lose anyone else. Come on, let's get going. You won't. You won't. But you should have kept the machete, man. That looks you ready? more flexible than the big ass katana. Plus the way she wears it on her back, it's like you should, you know. Well, fuck it. <clears throat> Actually, sh should you know, kept a machete more flexible. You know, maybe she lost it or something. All right, the companion. Sure is quiet out here. Sound. I'm peaceful that way. Something's not right. Something's not right. <laughs> Ever the optimist. 
Oh boy, zombies. You know, something's really been bothering me. I have to ask. What? Do you think this looks dumb? Oh, what? I don't know. Oak's been giving me shit about it. Because I look like a pirate. What do you think? Uh, it looks good. You look like a pirate. What does he know? <laughs> I knew you were all right. I think it ties the look together. Get you to loosen up sooner or later. You're always so serious. It's gotta be exhausting. Why so serious? I'm sure, you have your reasons. It just makes it hard to get to know people. Not much to laugh about these days. Not that it ever stopped you. Being grim about it, does that make it all okay? You know, when we first brought you on board, never yeah. thought you decided to stick around. You didn't talk to anybody. I just assumed you'd take off the minute you got your strength back. Keep expecting to wake up and find this dinghy gone, and you with it. But here you are. I like you, guys. What can I say? You're not terrible company. <laughs> I'm flattered. When we met, you were. I mean, I saw what you were about to do. You haven't had it easy yet. I know you mostly keep it to yourself. I don't want to make you talk about it uh, unless you want to. Uh, don't mind being alone. That's the problem. It's everything else. The past has a way of catching up with you. The nightmares. I stopped moving. Not even for a minute. When things are quiet, I end up thinking too much. I hear you. I hear you. <coughs> you know. Before this, I was just on my own, like you were. Convincing myself I liked it that way. But after a while, I just. Zombo. Yeah, we know they can swim. Or well, not swim, but, you know. They don't drown. And, uh. That makes no sense, but fuck it. Now that must be terrifying. Oh, bye. Damn. No shit, he's dead. Whoa. There's a lot of, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, spheric objects here in this town. <laughs> Convenient, you know, in the story. Is this spheric, you know, as a sphere, sw sphere, that's how you pronounce it right, sphere, sphere, a circle, yay!